That's right folks, the fourth installment of the critically acclaimed Mass Effect series has returned with Mass Effect Andromeda. The latest installment pairs you as a child of late Alec Ryder, going into a new galaxy system to find a home in the Andromeda galaxy. Things go astray as your father dies, making you become Pathfinder and having you finishing up where he first began. Dealing with new enemies, new species, and cleaning up what wasn't done in the first place puts you right in Andromeda in the beginning to learn what happened and have you asking more questions than you find out knowing in Mass Effect. What also makes a return in Mass Effect Andromeda is the multiplayer we first seen eyes on in Mass Effect 3. Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer follows in the same vein in Mass Effect 3's, where it's essentially fight till you beat this wave of enemies coming, utilizing a specific character class that has your own specialization of vanguard, engineer, adept, soldier, and many more between the races and ranks. Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer puts you back in the center of the action against the cat and other warring factions that in Mass Effect Andromeda. My first pro for Mass Effect Andromeda is that the combat and gameplay in this installment feels superb. From the gunplay which feels smoother now, the melee feels great to use between the Omni Blades, Ket Swords, and Krogan Hammers, and the new feature to having combo detonations go off in the midst of battle. With Biotic can meet tech for a tech combo, Biotic can meet environmental which can be fire, ice, electrocution, or simply another Biotic with Biotic combo. Andromeda's combat is great and it is definitely a pro for me. My next pro for Mass Effect Andromeda is a brand new feature that they brought into Andromeda where you use profiles to now select your class. Mass Effect Andromeda took the boundaries off what class you can pick and they'll have you unlock profiles between leveling up what you want to play. You can play as a soldier with tech bonus powers, a vanguard with invisibility, an engineer with a penchant for soldier type gameplay on the pickup. Each point you drop into the level system gives you a boost on the profile, gradually unlocking newer ones to benefit your gameplay. It's definitely a pro for me. My next pro for Mass Effect Andromeda is that the multiplayer is fun as hell. From the class selection they give you to all the chaos that begins to happen once multiplayer goes down is just really chaotic yet lovely. Mass Effect Andromeda's multiplayer has you surviving waves of enemies, hacking for intel, and even shutting down spots while all that's going on, fighting the cat, remnant, and other pirate factions too. Andromeda's multiplayer is frantic and lovely in all one go round. It's definitely worth the playtime and the missions and is definitely, definitely a pro for me. My next pro for Mass Effect Andromeda is that the story gets really good. It does start off slow, but once you get out the initial first planet, everything begins to pick up even more. Andromeda's campaign gets really intense. You begin to learn secrets about who your new enemies are, what your father was up to, increasing backstory how the Andromeda initiative became what it was and how everything is so secretive and backdoor, you begin to learn so much throughout this campaign that it begins to really live up to its name. Mass Effect Andromeda definitely shines with this campaign and is definitely a pro for me. My last and final pro for Mass Effect Andromeda is that the graphics do look pretty good. In certain gameplay moments and cutscenes, the graphics can be eye candy and look amazing when every intricate detail is being looked at. Mass Effect Andromeda has some stunning cutscenes and gameplay scenes where they do actually tend to impress with the graphics. Especially on newer worlds such as Eos, Aya, Haval, and Volt, they have an eye popping on to them and definitely follow up. And in specific conversations, the graphics do get amped up as well. It is definitely, definitely a pro for me. Now see, as I was going through Mass Effect Andromeda and really playing it and really noticing things and really taking all my time and stuff and noticing everything that I can, I didn't notice that Mass Effect Andromeda did deserve a lot of the flack that it got. While it's not a bad game at all, it does have a lot of stuff where it's just like, why? As a big fan and a long time lover of the Mass Effect series, this entry really does have some stuff that really does have problems. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you, the cons. My first con for Mass Effect Andromeda is that while I like the graphics in certain moments, that's other times where the graphics are pretty bad as well. The Xbox One version tends to have some jaggies, some blurry textures well on the walls or the floor sometimes, some very intense popping depending on where you're at, and this even includes the map layout having some intense popping as well. Some of the textures just look muddied on human character models, and the characters just look weird and awkward in certain animations as well. While I enjoy Mass Effect Andromeda for how beautiful it could be, it's a lot of ugly behind it too. It's definitely a con for me. My next con is that the new chat mechanic in Mass Effect Andromeda feels kind of underwhelming compared to the previous titles. There's no Paragon or Renegade choices here. Each choice kind of sounds the same unless you're picking the heartfelt response. I would have preferred Andromeda to follow up in the footsteps of the older trilogy with Paragon and Renegade choices while still having that middle neutral ground to follow up on just in case it was needed. Andromeda's new chat mechanic really feels like it's just what not to say in the midst of a chat sometimes it really is a bummer compared to the last games. It's definitely a con for me. 
My next con is that the glyphs for unlocking the vaults are really annoying to deal with. The puzzles to unlocking them are basically alien Sudoku puzzles that you have to use a symbol that isn't in the same row or box with each other. These puzzles can be extremely time consuming because you first have to find the glyphs from the remnant architect then really pay attention to the rows and boxes so you don't overuse the symbol or mess up too many times. While you do have a decryption key and eventually get the hang of them after a while, much better puzzles could be implemented into this game and been something way better than this. It's definitely a con for me. My next and last con is that Mass Effect Andromeda suffers from a lot of technical bugs that could have been smoothed out. From animals floating in the air, the dialogue camera walking out sometimes, falling through the floor during important missions, characters and squad mates not moving sometimes, to having to reload and come back to initiate dialogues with some NPCs sometimes. Mass Effect Andromeda suffers from bugs that could have been ironed out during development and just really taken care of early on to prevent players from going through any of these issues during their playthrough. It's definitely, definitely a con for me. But all in all, while this isn't the greatest title in the ongoing series of Mass Effect, Mass Effect Andromeda does have some great qualities about itself. From amazing gameplay and combat that really outdoes itself every time, to having the freedom to build and play a character however you want this time with no boundaries, to the fun as hell multiplayer that doesn't get old, to even having a great story that's slow to start but hard to put down, and even having some beautiful graphics from time to time, Mass Effect Andromeda does do some things right. However, Andromeda also does suffer in the graphics department with the jaggies, the blurry, the muddy textures, and weird animation on characters. The new dialogue wheel being the same on choices and really losing the impact that it had first within the trilogy with no paragon or renegade choices. The annoying Sudoku puzzle to unlock the vaults, making it much more of a hindrance than it should be, and having to deal with bug after bug after bug of stuff that tends to happen in your playthrough more often than you wanted to. But even with those issues, Andromeda is still a fun and enjoyable game. And with that being said, I'll be giving Mass Effect Andromeda a 3.5 out of 5. Alright guys, that includes my Mass Effect Andromeda review. Go look at my other reviews, my previous reviews on Parappa the Rapper Remastered, Ocean Horn Monster Uncharted Seas, Drawing to Death, Yakuza Zero, um, and many more reviews to come. I have reviews coming on Prey, Little Nightmares, still working on some stuff on the PS4 side with Shyness, and uh, a couple more titles that I really can't name right now, but a lot of reviews are coming to you guys as quickly as possible. Oh yeah, I'm also working on Outlast 2 with the Let's Play and eventually going to give you guys a review of that. So stay tuned. I also have Dragon Quest Heroes in the booth as well. We're going to be working on that as well. Go check out the Let's Plays. Go check out anything you want to go check out on the channel. I'll put them all in the description box below. Go follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links to that will be in the description box below. Links to the previous reviews will be in the description box below. Links to the previous Let's Plays will be there as well. So until next time and until the next video, guys, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. I'm out.